this is Stephen Cohen, the Marketing Director here at Alpha Graphics West Valley, and this is Smart Marketing. Wanted to talk today about those $5 words that marketing people throw around, myself included. Uh, if you don't have a marketing degree or haven't been in the industry for at least a few years, some of these words may be a little complicated um, and go over, over your head a little bit. So I wanted to find them in uh, normal people terms. Uh, the first word I wanted to talk about was inbound marketing. Now inbound marketing basically is what activities do you do so that when someone is looking for a service that they find your service. Um, inbound marketing includes uh, content or website content so that when someone searches online for your product uh, that your website comes up and those people come inbound. We basically call it the low hanging fruit or it's the people that are looking to purchase from you um, and are searching for your services. Um, a common strategy nowadays is to go after inbound uh, leads a lot more than just doing outbound activities since they're ready to buy um, and obviously have shown interest in your product through finding you. Um, so instead of you having to go out and find a customer, they're actually finding you. That's inbound marketing. I wanted to talk about search engine optimization or as everyone calls it, SEO. Uh, search engine optimization is really just making sure that you have optimized or made your website easily findable by people who are searching for it. So that is how you write, uh, write your content so that your keywords appeal to the search engines like Google, uh, Bing, and Yahoo, and you have relevance. So if I'm searching for, um, let's say, printing services in West Valley City, that MAR website, Alpha Graphics West Valley, shows up. That's search engine optimization. So optimizing uh, primarily your website so that a search engine can find it. I want to talk about pay-per-click or PPC. Pay-per-click is basically you paying to get a click. So if you uh, search on Google, it has Google ads across the top and the side of the screen um, that are advertised. Those are pay-per-click places where every time someone clicks on that page, uh, basically whoever has purchased that ad pays money. Um, there's also pay-per-click is done in banner advertising. So when you see banner ads across the screen and you're clicking on that, um, that's pay-per-click as well. You're paying for that advertising space. In other words, search engine marketing um, is very similar to pay-per-click, so they're used synonymously, uh, even though they don't really mean the same thing. So most people, when they say search engine marketing or SEM, are actually referring to pay-per-click, uh, where you're paying money to have people click on your ads. Search engine marketing is really um, a broader term to describe uh, SEO or search engine optimization and pay-per-click. So it's it's uh, marketing through search engines. So that again would be Google, Yahoo, or Bing, and what activities are you doing for that? So that would be optimizing your website on the SEO side, and then paying for advertising space on the pay-per-click side. Content marketing. Content marketing is the process of generating content. Um, content being anything from web page articles, blog articles, uh, something like this video, um, where you're generating content for someone to consume. And your goal is, when you create the content is to market your company or help accent your company and services. Content marketing, we'll see over the next few years, um, is, is the word, it's the thing that everyone's doing. Uh, and that is because the marketing strategy is changing from outbound to inbound. So now if someone's trying to search for my services online, I need to generate content so that Google recognizes that I'm an expert in my space and then that will drive traffic towards my site. So uh, that's the concept of content marketing is you generate content and that content um, will help appeal to inbound leads and then those people will interface with you for sales. Marketing automation is a big one. Uh, marketing automation is the process of basically automating or making it so some of your marketing processes work without uh, human interaction. Um, a good example would be an email drip campaign. So I don't know if you've signed up for um, one of those uh, sign up for my emails and you get these automatic emails every couple of days. Um, well, those aren't emails that the person sits down and writes to every single day. It's part of a drip campaign where they have a certain automated flow and process and schedule um, of how often an email comes to you, what that email content is, um, and that is marketing automation. Um, that's another big tool that will be becoming more prevalent for uh, more and more businesses throughout the years. Um, is how do you take your marketing activities and streamline them so that when you have an inbound client who comes in or someone who's found you on the website um, and wants to engage with your company but isn't quite ready to buy yet, 
How do you make sure that you keep them in the funnel? And marketing automation is designed to do that so you don't have to uh, manually or have a human look at every single prospect in your, in your, uh, in your pipeline um, and determine what messages go to them. On the final $5 word, and this is probably my favorite $5 word, is called integrated marketing because it sounds really complicated. Um, and I actually had to go look this one up myself because I it's a, it's a master's level marketing word. Uh, but integrated marketing basically means how do all of your marketing activities uh, relate to each other. So when we talk about an integrated marketing strategy, it means if, let's say, as a small business, you're using email, uh, you're using social media, your website, and you're doing a mailer um, for your marketing pieces. So let's say you have four marketing pieces for this month that you're doing. Now an integrated marketing plan for the month is how do all of these four marketing pieces um, correlate or work together? So that means that your email looks like your website, which looks like your social media post and looks like your mail piece, um, down to the colors, um, down to the message or what you're saying to your clients, down to the design, so that those all work together. Um, in the sales, we talk about needing seven touches before someone is uh, really interested in buying from you or making a purchasing decision. Integrated marketing is the idea that if I have to touch someone seven times, I want to make sure that every single touch looks and feels the same so they understand it's coming from me. Um, brands that do a really good job at this, if you look at McDonald's, um, everyone knows what a McDonald's ad is because they always have the same messaging. Um, right now, uh, if you look around at least Salt Lake City, Utah, um, the standard marketing message from McDonald's happens to be revolving around um, their drinks and their fountain drinks only costing a dollar. So in their TV advertising, in their billboard advertising, um, in their um, uh, point of purchase or in-store advertising, all of it relates to that specific product of it's a, it's a one dollar fountain drink um, and that is integrated marketing. That's it for today's uh, Smart Marketing. Thanks for watching. Uh, look forward to seeing you in the future.